Hey, Mark. Well, we've got B52 on the menu today, and that is sweet and sour chicken. No, no, it's true. I googled it before. That's sweet and sour chicken. We've got these beautiful rangatiki chicken thighs here, which we're going to make it with. You can also, if you want, like at the takeaways, you can do the little deep fried balls, which are beautiful. But today we're going to use the uh, chicken thigh. We're going to slice it, marinate it with five spice in there, and a little bit of a twist on the uh, sweet and sour. We've got some uh, sugar snap peas and a little bit of baby spinach to finish it. And of course, coriander. Lovely. <laughs> and I've got a little trick to uh, make your noodles taste a little bit better at home. So I'm going to show you all that a little bit later. We are making a lovely Chinese dish today, something I usually buy, but now I can make it at home, so you're going to show me how. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Right, sweet and sour chicken. So classic, Yep. Uh, sort of a, a sweet and sour tomato -y sauce. We've got pineapple in there, chicken, and then we've got a few other extra ingredients which we don't normally put in. Spinach, uh, sugar snap peas, and uh, a little bit chilli, which we like. Mm. And um, we've got some fire spice as well. Nice. It's interesting putting the spinach in it. Yeah, yeah. Just, spinach it, in it. Yeah, exactly. Just, okay. uh, it just makes it a bit different from the, uh, from the old um, uh, takeaway. Nice. OK, well, good. So you're using rangetike, chicken, corn-fed, free-range, beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just going to do it into nice uh, slices. You know, nice. don't, don't know them too thin. So you've got, uh, you know, you've got a nice bit of chicken in there. Um, just slicing it across, across into chunks. And then you can, um, you can actually season that with a little bit of salt, Mike. And okay. some five spice here as well. Okay, cool. Salt. Yeah. Oh, there, thank you. So, where is it? Um, <laughs> okay, this is good. You're using the thighs again, and the um, the thighs yeah. are good because there's a little bit of fat on them, so a little bit of flavour. Yeah, it's definitely. Gonna keep definitely. it nice and moist, not going to dry out. Exactly. But I mean, you can use the breast if you want. You know, there's, yep. no, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. So, a little bit of salt in there, a little bit of five spice. Uh, so, just sprinkle it on. You know, you can be quite generous, but. You know, just watch that you don't put too much in. Right. Just have a nice sort Why of coating. Why is that? Because uh, it Flavor? is. Yeah, it's quite strong, so it will right. like sort of uh, overpower um, the chicken and the whole dish. You know, if you if you probably put all that in, you know, it's going to taste a five spice. So it'll be a five spice chicken <laughs> and not a B52 sweet okay. and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken. Okay, nice. All right, cool. So just you know, just going to coat that. Just marinate that a bit. I've got some um, boiling water over there. Yes. Just lightly seasoned it, and we're going to cook our noodles. And this is for the noodles. I'm not making a cup of tea, because right. it, it's morning time and I want a cup of tea. <laughs> We're actually going to put this in the water and flavour our noodles. So this is a Yasmin, uh, jasmine uh, tea bag. Yes. So do, you, what sort of, do you have to use a jasmine one, or can you use any? <laughs> well, I don't put a bit of Earl Grey in there? Well, yeah, but it's not sort of Chinese. No? You don't want to put English breakfast in there. You're not making a cup of tea. Right, OK. So you want that, you've got those flavours. It's, it's nice and light. It's going to sort of perfume the uh, noodles. Oh. Uh, right, so we're going to pop the noodles in there. Well, and that is fascinating. I can smell that fragrance already. Yeah, and, it, and yeah. it's just going to go through the noodles, and it's a, you know it's a great way of just getting a little bit more flavour in. You know, you can boil them in salted water. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit boring. This yeah. is good. I like this. Good Heard work. It. Best tip yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Seen it here first. <laughs> um, and then we've got some sugar snap peas. So I'm just going to let the noodles cook a little bit, yeah. break them up a bit. It won't. They won't take long to cook. And then I'll pop the sugar, sugar snap peas in, get them uh, sort of softening. You still want a little bit of crunch in there, and then spinach in at the last moment. Wow. Um, so as the noodles are cooking, we're going to start our chicken now. So nice hot air pan. Get a okay, wok. Good. Yep. Bit of oil in there. Yep. Right. And then so we need to get this nice and hot. Um, and then we're going to cook the chicken. Oh. I love you a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of oil, seven minutes later. <laughs> OK. No, but you need, you need to get oil, right? If you want to yes. get a really good colour on anything, you know, you're cooking a piece of fish or a piece of meat, you do need the oil in there to right. get a nice, even colour, right? You want to hear that sizzle? Yep. So pop the chicken in and just, just sort of be careful as well. Don't overcrowd the pan. Don't put too much chicken in because you want it to sizzle and fry all the way through. We don't want to boil this. Nice work. Right, so we're going to keep that on the go. We're going to get a nice colour on there, keep flipping it around, get some colour all over. Okay. And a little bit of chilli. Just going to uh, pop it in half. I'm going to leave the whole chilli, so I'm just going to put it in. So that's going to flavour the chicken and the oil and the sauce. It's going to get a little bit of uh, heat into there. Just a little bit, not too much. Right, so you've got six spices in here now, haven't you? Your five <laughs> spices and your chilli. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is coming. Oh, it smells really good. That's it, and, and stir frying good. So, okay, cool. You know, fry and stir at the same time, you know, so you're keeping it on the go. We need to finish up our chicken using beautiful succulent rangatake corn fed free range chicken. Uh, they do such a great range. We're using the thighs today, and this is smelling and looking divine. Look at the colouring. That's it. So, we start getting that caramelisation now. It's got a flavour of the chilli in. Got some garlic and ginger yep. going in now. Okay. So, just pop that in a little bit later. I'm going to stir fry that for another minute or two. Yep. And then we're going to start building our sauce around the chicken. Okay. So it is quite a fast dish. Yeah, which is Noodles good. are cooking in that uh, beautiful tea mixture. 
Okay. So we've just broken them up a little bit, so they are nearly done. So I'm just gonna put some of the uh, sugar snap peas in there and we'll cook that for about another minute just to soften them. You still want that crunch. Okay, and if you just joined us, we put a um, jasmine tea bag in the noodles. It just helps flavor it, give it a little bit of fragrance. And uh, now we've got that going and the sugar peas in there, so that's gonna heat up. The chicken's looking fantastic. Yep. Garlic's getting stirred. Recipe, by the way, at thecafe.co.nz. Right, so now we're going to build the sauce around the chicken. Okay. okay. Soy sauce goes in there, just yep. a little bit. Honey, yep. so we've got the sweetness. All right, and then we're just going to just going to get that honey up to the boil. Start coating that chicken. Start, you know, you can see it's starting to sort of caramelise lightly around that chicken. That's going to bring out some more extra flavours. Mm, yum. All right, so once you're happy with that, it's all coated, it's getting nice and sticky, a little bit of ketchup, so there's our tomato hits. Okay. You know, there's a little bit of acidity in there, and there's a little bit of sweetness in there as well, so you don't need too much. Got a bit of sesame oil in there. Yum, I love sesame and oil. And some vinegar as well, so there's the sweet and sour. Okay. Okay, so you've got the sweetness from the honey, the ketchup, tomato from the ketchup, and vinegar for the sourness. And that's pretty much the sauce. That's good, that's quick and easy. Yeah, I'm gonna pop some spring onions in now. Beautiful. That's just gonna cook down. So pretty much the chicken should be nearly ready. Yep. We're just gonna glaze, glaze the chicken out with the sauce, so just keep cooking it until it's nice and sticky. The noodles are gonna be ready, and it's pretty much ready to serve. We'll finish it with some pineapple, which we can pop in now. Okay. Can't have sweet and sour without pineapple. So it gets stickier as it reduces, correct? Yeah, okay, exactly, cool, yeah, because nice. of all the sugar. And a little tip as well to make it nice and fruity, uh, a little bit of the pineapple juice as well. You know, from the can. Right. And then we're just gonna finish it with some coriander and fresh lime as well. <laughs> I know. <I've>... Extra coriander. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't know this, but it's actually a gene thing, people that don't like coriander. Oh, they just need you to either love it or you hate just it. need to that suck it up and eat it. <laughs> but it's in so much food. And you're right, just need to suck it up. <laughs> it's all right, more for me. That's it. So you can see it's nice and thick now. Finish it with the coriander, turn it off, give it a nice little toss. I'm going to come over here and sugar snaps will be ready. Some of those noodles. So straight out the pan, drain it slightly and straight in. Give it a nice flip so it's all mixed. Oh, um, and if your sauce gets a little bit too thick, or, or you don't, you want to loosen it a little bit, yeah. use some of this uh, noodle water. Okay, good. Yeah, it's extra flavour in there. Give it a toss. Nice work. Oh, this looks sensational. And there, and there you go, that is uh, ready to go. Pretty happy, okay, sweet. Well, as I see, get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Can't wait. We now. are ready, it's oh. all cooked. The sauce is nice and yeah. glazed. Just plating it up now. Yeah, I'm getting my forks ready. And those noodles are beautiful with the tea bag as well.